Introduction to Taguchi design. Before you watch this video, I will suggest you to watch the um, one of the earlier video where I explain uh, different terms those are associated with Taguchi. So in this video, I'll just go through the analysis steps. Now, the goal of Taguchi is to design a product that is uh, robust enough for the environment, also for the user. So it does not get affected by the environment. It does not get affected by the user users think about you are producing tires and then sending to Alaska very cold environment and then same tire you are sending to a very hot environment maybe somewhere in Middle East in desert very very high dry or humid environment now also the user factor so someone may uh, drive their car crazy someone just drive it smooth so you want to design a tire that does not get affected by this environmental condition humidity temperature heat things like that or it does not get affected how the user use it now there are two types of analysis is performed for the Taguchi design if there is no signal factor then the static analysis is performed if there is signal factor then only the um, the not only then the uh, dynamic analysis is performed and then oh, I lost my pen Let's see. okay so the the static analysis is performed when there is no signal fact no signal factor and then dynamic analysis performed when there is signal factor now signal to noise ratio there are in both analysis both the static analysis and the dynamic analysis there are two tables are produced one is the signal to noise ratio for the static and the response mean response for the dynamic also signal to noise ratio is produced in addition to the slope response so let me give you an example think about we are trying to bake a cake and this cake baking company uh, they're just trying to see the opportunity of this new type of milk by egg butter sugar and flour and see if they can adopt some better material with better price things like that so they are including these five factors in their study and then they have these two environmental condition whether you keep it in the refrigerator or um, keep it in the room temperature and also they are also including the si one signal factor when the user eat the cake are they using water or milk um, as a drink with the cake and the response is measured on a scale of uh, 0 to 100 100 means the best delicious cake 0 means that you can't eat that this is the static analysis output I have analyzed this using Minitab in later video I have shown you how to do this both in Minitab and in Excel manually so you can see what's going on behind the scene basically the higher signal to noise ratio is better uh, so you try to see now here one thing in Taguchi you're not really deciding which factor is significant what you are deciding is what level of this factor should be used to bake this cake now you need all these five ingredients to bake the cake so you can't really say oh I'm not is sugar is not significant I will not include that it's not that is not what you are deciding what we are deciding in Taguchi is the level of each of these factors so let me go back to this example so for example this milk um, is the current milk type better or the new milk type better so you're trying to decide between these two the level one and level two you're not really deciding between which factor to use because you need all of them to uh, bake the cake so you see these numbers and try to find out which level has the uh, better signal to uh, respond noise ratio if you look at the uh, butter example here you can see the uh, the butter factor is C and then the uh, new type of butter is has a better uh, signal to noise ratio than the current type of butter and you can see this rank is based on uh, the one that is least optimized meaning that uh, uh, if you change from one level to the other you get a significant difference in signal to noise ratio you can see also the mean table kind of corresponds 
uh, with this uh, signal to noise ratio sometimes this might contradict then you decide based on this so signal to noise ratio is the most important table that you make your decision um, here is one thing I would like to mention like in unlike the design of experiment or statistical traditional analysis if something is not significant you really don't care in this case we probably do care about this even though they're not different so this new guy uh, give us this sugar um, however you can see there is no difference between this um, sugar new sugar or old sugar then we can say to that new supplier that look your sugar is not really producing uh, that much good cake so if you give us a better deal we can probably buy your sugar or things like that so um, it's still you can think about that um, so basically you're deciding between level one and level two uh, and then you need all of these factors you're not gonna delete one of these like doe uh, same for the mean table now, in the next here I have done the dynamic analysis and I have included the uh, signal factor which was uh, how the user is gonna eat the cake are they going to use water or milk uh, so here is the signal factor are they going to use water or uh, milk when they eat their cake now something wrong with my powerpoint all right so and then you can see here the same signal to noise ratio is table is produced however you see these numbers are a little bit different in um, in the later videos you can check i have produced all of these calculation using ms excel uh, using the formula manually so you can see what's going on behind to calculate or get this number also there is a minute of how to video on how to do that so you can see all these numbers the slope table is produced for the dynamic analysis rather than the mean table um, the slope has a similar explanation of means so the if you if you are looking for a higher is better like this delicious cake the higher number is better then the higher slope means better now in in another video I'll explain how to explain all of these um, dynamic analysis slope and signal to noise ratio uh, so check those uh, videos on the explanation of this uh, different analysis